Professor Martin, you're interested in the limits of the human body, is that right? Yes, that's right. So, for example, we've been asking, is it possible to survive in a vacuum? And what's the answer? Well, sadly, we know how long humans can survive in a vacuum in outer space. Three Russian cosmonauts died in 1971 when their space capsule had a major problem at an altitude of 168 kilometres. The pressure inside the capsule dropped to zero and the crew died after 30 to 40 seconds. What a tragedy. Yes, indeed. But it is possible to survive shorter periods of time in a vacuum. In 1966, a scientist was testing a spacesuit in a special room when the pressure suddenly dropped to almost zero for a period of 27 seconds. He passed out after 15 seconds and he woke up when the pressure inside the room returned to normal. He was fine. Good. So, what else have you been studying? We've also been asking, how long can the human body survive without sleep? And what is the answer? Well, we can't force people to stay awake until they die, so it's impossible to know the exact limits. But we know about some extreme cases. For example, on the 28th of December 1963, Randy Gardner, a 17-year-old student, got up at 6 o'clock in the morning and didn't go back to sleep again until the morning of the 8th of January 1964. That's 264 hours. Amazing! How many days is that? <laughs> About 11 days. He probably slept for a week after that. Actually, no. His first sleep after those 11 days lasted almost 15 hours.